Hey everybody, it's your boy Dude Sweet, aka Calm Little Buddy, and I'm here to talk to you about something interesting that we figured out today with building inside of Enshrouded. Now, as you know, Enshrouded is not good at building on a curve. So basically, everything's kind of straight lines north, south, east, and west. But through the help of one of my wonderful viewers, Jam Gabar, we have learned how to make spiral staircases using just two elements these little mini stools here, and any type of shelf that you want. Now, there's a lot of different types of shelves out there. We've got, you know, carved shelves, wooden shelves, stone shelves. Any shelf will do, though. As long as you find a shelf in some of these little stools, there is a way to make a spiral staircase. So to save a little bit of time, I built out this little section here. And what we're going to do is we're going to smooth off some flat areas with kind of an ascending sort of plane to it. So we're building in little... Uh, Actually, they're ceiling units here, and then we're breaking them to kind of flatten this area out. We want a nice flat surface that we can work from. So I'm going to put uh, a couple of these in here. And when I'm done, you'll see that we have the, the basics of the flatness for a spiral staircase. Okay, so you see we've got this flat plane here. The gist of it is you take one of the stools and you place it down. That's your first marker. Your second thing you're going to do is place the shelf down. And, you know, I can place it over here. I can stretch it out a little bit over the top if I want to. Sometimes I like to place it side by side. It can make it a little bit easier. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your second stool. You're going to hold down R and use the mouse scroll wheel to rotate the stool a small amount. Instead of 90 degrees, it rotates it about, I don't know, maybe 15 degrees. You can see how that rotates it just a little bit there, and that will give us our marker for the next one. You're gonna have to do a lot of fiddling around, as you can see here. Like, I'll get this second one in. Place it right about there, give me a little bit of space. You can make these as steep as you want, as shallow as you want. Um, you can make them turn quicker than this. You can make them rotate quicker than this. But basically, this, this is gonna be the setup. It's gonna take practice for you to get it right, but I will show you my finished product at the end where it looks really pretty darn good. All right, there's a second one. Hold on one sec. Okay, after a bit more fiddling around, you can see now I've got three of them in place here and they look pretty good. Now, hold on. This one could look a little bit better. And right about there. Go. All right. So this looks pretty good. Let me fast forward and I will show you the final result and what it looks like when we're all completely done. All right, so let's take a look. This is what the finished product will look like when you're done. You can see we have filled in the rock around it. You can do a lot better job filling in the rock than I've done to kind of hide the actual steps, but you can look. We've got a perfectly ascending spiral staircase. I'd like to thank Jam Gabar. You'll find the link to his Reddit post below. He is the one that taught me how to do this. The inventor of this, as far as I can tell, this could be useful with a lot of different uh, pieces of furniture. Give it a try. Put some stuff in the comments. Like and subscribe. Let me know what you've come up with to do with this as well. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll talk to you next time.